As the election campaign on August 23 reaches a fever pitch, Citizens Coalition for Change CCC Ed Nelson Chamisa has asserted that he has closed all loopholes utilized by ZANU PF to rig elections in the past. Speaking to the approximately 8,000 attendees of his rally yesterday at Tulabedzimu Stadium, Chamisa promised that the stealing of elections and positions of authority will become a thing of the past. He claimed that the late former president Robert Mugabe's reputation for taking power and dying a bitter man was working against Zenu PF leader Emerson Mnangagwa. Mugabe's close assistant Mnangagwa overthrew his mentor in a coup in 2017. Mugabe chose to support Chamisa over Mnangagwa in 2018. Idi was granted two years to complete Mugabe's tenure after seizing power, but nothing worked. I forewarned my brother. Umlin Gogwa, about the negative effects of assuming power. I told him that what he had done was wrong both in heaven and on earth. In 2018, he stole a further five years from me. Chamisa claimed, This time, we are aware that he is considering using unethical methods, but everything is covered because we are familiar with his electoral theft techniques. When the election results are announced, we want to know how wide the gap is. Chamisa stated that his administration would aim for a $100 billion GDP. He criticized the administration for puffing up its chest over carrying out development initiatives that don't help the populace. If they construct a road, they return to you and brag even though it is their obligation. Aside from inflating the cost. Have a look at Zimbabwe's, which has caused pain for many. Residents in Bight Bridge rely on cross-border trade, yet using the strengthened border has resulted in expensive fees, leaving them in poverty. Who is this helping? Said he. Bight Bridge border improvements cost 300 million US dollars. However, in order to recuperate funds borrowed from South African banks, the firm levies 27 US dollars, 80 US dollars, and 200 US dollar fees for individual vehicles, buses, and large trucks due to locals no longer taking the drive to South Africa. Traffic now avoids by bridge for other routes. So what is that development? Locals will be spared from deals that hurt them, and my government will work to reverse them, he added. He urged the crowd to support him on August 23rd by claiming that the majority of citizens, including government employees and those working in the security industry, wanted change. People are in pain everywhere. Everyone in Plum Tree, where I am from, says they are sick of corruption since it has caused so much pain. We are going to improve a lot of areas that affect individuals, including education, health, and social security. At the primary and tertiary levels, free education will be implemented. It's doable and it's occurring in places like Zambia. I also want to dispel the myth that I will return farmland to white people. I promise to provide title deeds for people. Individuals on resettled land are like squatters, they have no rights or legal claim to it. He continued. He made fun of ZANU PF for transporting supporters to its rallies by bus from all across the nation. Everyone here arrived on their own, and while we are unable to provide you with chicken, we will honor your yearning for change and for dignity. To remove Umnangogwa, we must vote in large numbers, Chamisa added. Together with local government candidates, he unveiled his party's candidates for the National Assembly in Bight Bridge West and East. Morgan Cube and Rina Domenavilla. Exports of raw minerals, according to Chamisa, are prohibited. Our economy will be worth $100 billion. We are going to live in a land of milk and honey. We won't have any help moving our raw materials. We'll construct villages and new cities around the resources we have for processing, as well as those lithium industries, he stated. We will restore citizens' rights, and anybody will be able to participate in demonstrations. How is it possible to prevent people from expressing themselves? Moreover, Chamisa stated that his party would form a lean government with no more than 15 ministers. Technical issues with the PA equipment caused his rally to be delayed.